Hi. It is great that you can just click a button, a document is generated and it's sent out for signing. But in certain cases, you might want to say, hey, I have multiple signers to add um, and, or I have an extra signer. I have extra documents to add. I want to make certain small uh, labels or put extra fields on site the, uh, on the document. So all of that can be done from our manual sign. Now you can link a document that is generated to actually go to manual sign and you can make further modifications while everything that's in the configuration already is there. So what kind of configuration am I talking about? That's of course a pack and a pack is linked to an actionable. This actionable is uh, has a certain class as you can see over here. And this class makes sure that it's gonna move, uh, gonna forward you to manual sign so you can make your required changes. For the rest, this class is also, uh, this actionable is also linked to a sign request template and that's sign request template will define what is the name of my sign request, what uh, kind of uh, signer stakeholders do I have. So all of that is taken into account, is prepared for you, but still you have the power of just making changes inside that document or that process. So let's take a look how that would work. I'm gonna click the button here, the document will be generated and it will immediately take all the configuration from sign butler and, and forward to uh, uh, our uh, manual sign. So here you already see that the document that was generated is, all, is uh, linked and I can add documents. Let's say I wanna add a document that comes from a library in Salesforce. So uh, this document, our NDA, I want to get signed as well together with the uh, proposal. So I'm just gonna add this document now here and these two documents can get signed in one go. Next up is I'm gonna uh, add placeholders. So I wanna have a second signer. What I see here is that there is only one signer pre, uh, uh, at this current moment in this document. So we have the power in this uh, setup to actually go out and take those um, and take those uh, sign placeholders that were already there by clicking the button fetch placeholder. Now with the fetch placeholder, we know that our, this uh, sign placeholder is already there and I will need to add a second sign placeholder. So we have in this process a second signer. For some reason, you want to add an extra signer. Um, I want to of course have some kind of a label. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna add the user full name. So here that the user full name is now just added directly in this process. I had a second do document for the NDA. Also this document I want to have signed by both uh, signers. So I'm gonna add both signers here. So this is signer one and this is signer two. Um, and then I'm gonna say the, uh, the labels. Um, this one is gonna be a, the user of course that is uh, that is currently logged on and for signer one i'm going to add the uh, i'm going to add the uh, the full name of the signer so okay that's the full name of the signer okay maybe i want to add a small text as well so and i can say here please sign Please sign below. Okay, so make this box a bit bigger. And if you wanna add uh, date fields, check boxes, text areas, any types of fields that you want to have, all of that is possible. Uh, you can actually add a text area here and say, call it, uh, um, okay, let's make, and let's put a label in, on top of it. And this label can then say your comments, for instance, your comments. Okay, so all of that's now prepared. So now I'm gonna select who actually is going to sign it. As indicated, the title is uh, preset because of the uh, sign request template. The sign request template that you're gonna use is a single signer. Uh, this sign request template also knows that we want to uh, attach this to the opportunity and from the opportunity, uh, to attach it is going to be our Rhino cars opportunity. I had one signer in my sign request template. That's the one over here. So that's my stakeholder, my signer. And uh, I added a second sign placeholder. So here I'm going to say it's uh, Igor Stuyver that needs to sign it as well. So let's create a sign request now. And then we can take a look at the sign request. 
because we will see all of this information just coming back. So in the sign request template, we now see that there are two signers. A mail has been sent already to the first signer, Jack Rogers, to, uh, to sign his, uh, uh, to make his signature. And if we go and take a look at uh, the mail that was sent to our friend Jack, we can sign it directly from the email. So I click this, uh, this link and now I can see the email. I can see that indeed there is a second signer here. It's called Igor Stauber. Okay, everything looks fine. So I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit and approve it. So then it's gonna open up the next document. In the next document, I can fill in all the information. And on page three, you will have the text box, your comments. The second, the two signers are there. Jack Rogers as the first signer. Uh, the comment that I have added, my comments I can leave here. Looks great. And then I can continue and end this signing process.